Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Bruce Tech here, and today we're going to be looking at the Dell Optiplex GX270. So this is quite an old model uh, uh, from Dell. I believe it's from about 2002, 2003 times. So, um, yep, yeah, it's a pretty simple unit, and today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, change the RAM. So you may want to, you may want to be uh, want to change the RAM. You may want to update the RAM so add more RAM sticks, or you may not just be placing the RAM because it's faulty or broken or whatever. But this is how to actually access the compartment for the RAM. So what you want to do is firstly turn the unit around so it's facing the back. Like so. And then on the side of e of the actual um dial, you'll notice that there's two um well two push buttons on each side. So here's the first push button right there. And then on the other side there is a, another one right over there. So all you've got to do is simply flip those buttons over. And it will take two uh, hands to do this. And it's got to be done simultaneously. And then you just want to push it and simply lift up the unit. Which is a very good thing about these uh, Dells, and it's pretty simple to get access to the main body of the computer without having to unscrew or remove the sides, which I think is a very good design. So the very first thing you want to do is ground yourself by touching the uh, exterior or interior uh, metal casing of the actual uh, PC. So once you've done that, uh, you'll notice that there is access to the actual RAM here. So let's take a look. So here's the RAM. So this is the basic, the, basically the motherboard of the uh, Dell. And you'll see, you'll notice that the RAM sticks are actually here. There's two of them. And I believe they're 256 megabytes each, which would have been shipped stuck with the actual Dell computer. So obviously it's nothing big. It's not in gigs or anything, because this is quite an old computer. So this is, it's pretty much kept the same RAM. I've, I've never updated it or removed it, so it's pretty much stuck. And the first thing you'll notice that there's there's clips here, so you can add more RAM if you want. I, th I believe you can get up to about four gigs of RAM uh, in this unit uh, in each uh, compartment bay by adding one gig each. So the first thing you want to do is pull up the clips here. So there's two clips. There's one here and there's one over there. So what you want to do is simply just pull that down and pull the other one down, and the, the RAM should just gently be able to pull out like so. And that is pretty much the RAM there. And to make the other one, you just do the very much, the very same thing. So you pull that down, and you pull the other one down, and it should pop out of place. So there you go, there you have the two RAM sticks right there. So this leaves the uh, compartment bit open, so obviously there's no RAM in there at the moment. And basically to insert the RAM back into the computer, you simply just put it in the slot there, decides to go in. It can be a bit fiddly to put back in. I'm trying to do it with one hand at the moment. So it should be back in there and then you want to push it down until it clips back into place like that. And you'll notice that both clips once you've pressed it down should come and retract back into place. And this will be the same thing with the other one. Simply put, try and leave a gap between the uh, RAM if you want to put in two sticks around try and leave a gap between them. You don't want to have them too close together. So you want to do the same thing with the other RAM or the stick of RAM and just simply press it down and let it pop into place. And both clips should come back up. So once you've done that, that is uh, pretty fine. Then. Just make sure, you get one more press down to make sure the RAM is completely secure. And then you just simply wait to close the lid back down again. And this can be quite, it's, it's, let's say it's easier to close, uh, sorry, easier to open than it is to close. You have to give it quite a, a slam down when you want to close this unit. So, you really have to press it down to get it to go right the way down. So that can be frustrating at times, but eventually it'll come straight back down, like so. And there, that is how to change or update the RAM in a Dell Optiplex GX270. So this has been Bruce Tech here. Thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe on our present day. Bye for now. And if you wish to see any more computer videos or computing videos, uh, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.